<laughs> Hi there, this is Dr. Terry, and welcome to Dr. Terry TV. Let me ask you a question Is your self critical voice giving you skin troubles? Now, this is quite a personal video for me because I used to hate my reflection and hated my skin, and I know that's what contributed partly to causing my skin problems you know i used to break out in acne and rashes and redness and irritation and i didn't really like what i saw in the mirror now this has since been proven by the late dr masaru emoto who did the water study and recently the rice study now what he did was he he cooked put cooked rice in four separate jars and depending on specific words that he placed on these jars or spoke to these jars, uh, it, it changed um, throughout the month and, and after that a year that he left the rice in the jar. So now you're going to ask me, what has rice got to do with skin? The common denominator is really water. Now our body is made of 70% water and our skin cells is made of water. So depending on what you say to yourself, the water is a breathing and living thing and or living entities so it will respond in kind whether you say something negative or something positive so think about you know watering plants or speaking to a plant if you're speaking it nicely it's going to flourish and it's going to bloom and if you're speaking to it negatively it's not going to flourish and it's not going to bloom so if you look at the the rice study what he did was he put the cooked rice in four different jars one of the jars he put you know love and gratitude one of the jars, he put thank you. The third jar, he put you fool or horrible words. And the last jar just put ignored. And as you see in this picture, what you find in the first two jars where it was more appreciative and more loving, the, the rice actually emitted a sweet aroma, you know, and it actually fermented into really something nice. Compared to the jars that had negative and kind of um, destructive words said to them or critical words said to them or even ignored as well so these rice completely rotted and really smelled so it's really important to see that you know how our water um, affects the cells in this rice but also to our skin so as the late Dr. Imoto said love and gratitude is the strongest energy in the world so it depends on whether you know you're appreciative and say beautiful positive words to your skin it will flourish and bloom like i said or if you're negative and critical to your skin and then it will be broken you know and give you troubles now of course i understand that if you are having troubles with your skin it's sometimes very difficult to be very positive but think it this way you know think of it you know like a baby having trouble skin how would you speak to it how would you speak to your younger self how would you like to speak to your younger self be gentle be kind and slowly you know the the comforting the appreciative and the positive words will make a difference to your skin so be mindful of the words you use whenever you look at your reflection into your skin and let's all use beautiful words to describe our skin and ourselves so sending you lots of positive energy and love until next video stay beautiful and see you real soon at dr terry tv